I'm a human being who right now haven't found a better way to soothe my pain. So I'm going to forgive myself. So self-compassion has to start in the present. It's not, it's not some trait that you acquire. And then, you know, it's actually, you have to have compassion for the person that shows up in your life right now, which is you and your addictive behavior. So it's got to start in the present, you know. And you're quite right. Simply identifying intellectually the sources of your trauma are not sufficient. I've always known what happened to me. But that knowledge did not release me from the pain. That takes more work. It has to begin by accepting the pain. It doesn't matter which of those five things that happened to you or all of them cumulatively led to these self-beliefs of yours. Um, that's only important because otherwise you just see yourself as somehow naturally flawed or deficient or morally de decrepit. So that's important. But you're quite right. That doesn't by itself releases you from it. So you have to begin with that self-compassion. And that self-compassion needs to be for the person that you actually are. And if right now you're that person who still engages in addictive behaviors, then have compassion for that person and see what that feels like. So that's where you need to begin. It's not a question of instilling a belief in your own value. From another perspective, value is a natural quality that you have simply because you exist. So it's not a question of talking yourself into having value. It's a question of seeing what's in the way of your, your acceptance of your value. Oh, there's this belief that I have no value. That's why I try to impress that person so much with my intellect, because I believe I have no value. Oh, so that's what that was about. So just see the way in which it shows up, the belief that you have no value. And the more you can see those behaviors compassionately, the more your natural self of value, which is already in you. And by the way, how do I know that it's in you? How do I know that that natural sense of value is in you? How do you think I know that? You choose to believe it? No. You showed me that. Do you know how you showed me that? No. Who do you think asked me the question? If you didn't value yourself, why would you sit in and ask such a courageous question? Something in you says, I'm valuable enough that I don't know the answer to that question. I matter. I'm going to put my hand up. I'm going to speak out. That part of you is your value. It's not a theoretical thing I'm talking about. You demonstrated your value right here by the very fact that you valued yourself enough to bring yourself here tonight. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Great. Well, thank you then. Thank you.